This year's forum had over 2,000 guests from around the world, including business executives, specialists in the green economy, and NGOs, government officials from Ethiopia, Switzerland, Russia, Malta, and other countries also participated in the opening ceremony. The forum aims to engage leaders in business, politics, academia, and other areas to highlight concerns about the environment and to discuss investments in two clean energy. One of the highlights of this year's forum is a sculpture of a female polar bear holding her cups and melting. The sculpture says there's a meaning behind the piece, which took eight months to create. As an artist, I want to convey that emotion through my work. When everybody sees that polar bears are disappearing and melting, it will actually be the same fate for human beings. One of the key topics being discussed at the forum is green architecture. Here at one of the campuses of Guizhou Finance University, hot water is ready in just a few seconds. There are solar-powered streetlights, and the ground source heat pump air conditioning system and even a water recycling system have been built on campus. This is the first time such a large scale of new renewable resource technologies is being used on a campus in China. Dr. Keller from Swiss Academy of Engineering Sciences explains the key points for designing green buildings in China. You should not use an everywhere architecture. If you go to a Chinese city, this could be New York, could be Paris, could be Shanghai, something. You need a reaction to the local climate. In Harbin, you build differently than in Hangzhou. And not everybody is the same, so that has also an influence on the energy need. Green architecture is based on the need for energy conservation and a sustainable construction. Even though building such structures will require huge investments and a longer periods of construction, they are certainly the wave of the future. Liu Yang, CCTV, Guizhou Province.